Hello, this is Matthias from 28 milliseconds. In this screencast we want to give you a brief overview and show how easy it is to develop, test and deploy XQuery based web applications with Sausalito. So let's get started. In order to support you developing your application you can download our Eclipse based development environment. However, if you wish, you could also start with the command line based Sausalito Core SDK. To create a Sausalito project in Eclipse, go to the file menu and select New Sausalito project. This will bring up a wizard that lets you choose between creating a new empty project or start with one of the provided templates. Let's take the very simple guestbook template and give it a name that is used within your Eclipse workspace. Then click finish. Essentially a Sausalito project consists of a set of directories that may contain XQuery code, XML schemas or static files such as HTML pages or images. For example, in the guestbook project, the handlers directory contains all your XQuery modules which are directly exposed in the REST-based API of your application. In contrast, the lib directory contains all the XQuery modules which are not exposed in the API. The public directory contains the HTML start page, some images and some JavaScript code, making REST calls to list guestbook entries or store an entry in the Sausalito database. Taking a look at the guestbook module in the handlers directory, we can see two functions in the outline on the right hand side, add and list. The add function uses the insert node last function, shown here, to insert a new entry into the XQuery collection declared in the prolog. For creating an entry, it uses the get parameters function of Sausalito's HTTP module. The list function at the bottom retrieves all entries from the guestbook collection and creates one div element for each of the five last entries. To test the project, you can launch it by clicking here. This will start the Sausalito application server and open a browser showing the guestbook. Let's make a first entry. Sausalito allows you to make changes that immediately take effect after reloading the page. For example, let's change the color of this text here to black. Save the file, go to the browser and reload. To stop the project, you can click the red square in the console at the bottom. Once you're done with testing and you want to go live with your application, you can right click on the project and select deploy project. However, before deployment, you need to register your application in the Sausalito portal. So let's go to the portal and sign in. In the portal, you can create or delete applications, switch between different versions of one application or bulk load seed data. Moreover, you can configure custom domains which allow the user to access your application using your custom domain. To create a new application, click here and give the application a unique name. For our example, we want to create an application called Guestbook. By taking a look at the app version control panel, you can see that there is currently no version which is deployed for our application Guestbook. To deploy the application, we need to go back to Eclipse and enter the name of the application that we have just created. Also, we need to provide the same credentials that we just used for the portal. By clicking Finish, Eclipse will upload the complete package and deploy it on 20 MSEC scalable infrastructure. If we now go back to the portal, we can see that version 1.4 of our application has been deployed. Clicking on the version number takes us to the deployed application that is accessible using guestbook.my20.msec.com. The application will behave exactly the same as it did on your machine. This is everything that you need to know to get started with Sausalito. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. You can find more information about Sausalito at 20msec.com. If you have any questions, please write us an email to support at 20msec.com. Thanks for watching.